Hey everybody, welcome to Down Home Backyard Gardening. With spring right around the corner, at least for where I am, my mind is all in the garden, nonstop, just thinking about things to do in the garden. And a project or an idea came to mind that I saw like a year ago, a year and a half ago, that I'm going to try. And we're going to attempt to hang a tomato plant upside down and grow it that way for the season. So if you're interested in this, stand by. Stick around, here we grow. Okay, so like I was saying, I thought the idea of growing a tomato plant upside down, in other words, letting the stalk grow down while having the root system elevated, is just a crazy idea, it's something right <laughs> in par with this channel, and I've just wanted to try it. So whether this succeeds or fails, hey, it's all good, it's gardening. Okay, so what so, all do you need to do this? Well, you just need a bucket. I'm gonna use this three gallon container right here. You're gonna need to drill, drill out the center hole. A few other things that I'll get into into the video. One thing you need to think about is the choice of tomato plant. You prefer to get one that's disease resistant. Me, because I'm just experimenting, I just grabbed a yellow pear tomato and we're gonna see how it goes. All right, I've got a one inch bit on here. I'm just gonna go slow because this Plastic is pretty fragile. There we go. Okay, now that the hole is drilled, we can put the tomato plant through the hole, having the root system up here and the stalk coming out. The only problem with that is this. Okay, for anyone who's grown tomatoes, you know that you wanna keep as much water or rain or sprinklers, water, off the tomato plant as possible because the water is what will bring in the mildews, the funguses, the diseases, things of that nature that will basically stunt or kill your plant. So if we have the roots sitting right here, right inside that hole and the stalk coming down, every time it rained or it watered, or you watered, you take the chance of the water just dripping down all over these plants. On top of that, because this is a container, you're going to lose nutrition out of that soil every time you water your plant if it's constantly dripping down and out. So because of those reasons, I'm going to add something in here that should limit the amount of nutrition that is lost and help limit the amount of water or rain that comes out the bottom all over the plant. This is what I'm gonna do. I got some two inch PVC pipe, cut it three inches tall, and I'm going to seal this over that hole. And what I'm thinking is every time you water or every time I water, any excess water is going to be down here with the nutrition. The roots can go down into that if they want to and find the nutrition, find the water and everything down here where the base of the plant, the stalk, should not be getting as much water on it doing this method. Now, if it rains, there's nothing you can do about the rain except bring it in, move it and all that. But this is my idea. I think this will work. I don't see why it wouldn't work. But um, yeah, so I'm interested. If you all have ever done one of these kind of upside down hanging tomato things, <laughs> or you have any advice or different ways of thinking of doing them, by all means, drop them in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts and I will comment back, I promise. So I just went ahead and got some basic latex sealant. And all I'm gonna do is put it down around the PVC pipe, the hole like you're seeing me do right here. I'm not doing anything special or fancy just trying to get her taken care of so we can move on to the fun part, which is the planting. Okay, just like that, we're done. Okay, so now that that's all done, I'm just gonna leave it sitting here for now, let the sun cure that sealant, and then we'll just need to add the soil. Do one more trick that I think will work to help keep the plant nice and secure in the container. And then y'all, we're ready to rock and roll and uh, get this thing hung up. So once so, this is ready, we'll be back.
Okay, so what's the next day? I waited an entire day to let that stuff cure. And I think we're ready to rock and roll. So the fun part is the planting. And here we go. The square is perfect. It's nice and large. It will definitely catch over that. Not an issue. I just got to thread this whole tomato plant <laughs> through that hole. I'm just going to take each branch, fold them in on themselves without breaking them, I hope, and just funnel this thing down through the hole. Okay, I did it. I think Jojo approves. Jojo, do you approve? <laughs> Jojo approves. Okay, so as you can see, it's just sitting, it's just sitting right there on top. That's perfect, perfect. Now we're just gonna fill the rest of this pot up with soil, water it in, and y'all, I think we're done. Um, <laughs> no, we're not, no, we're not. Okay, thing is full of soil. Now I will plant a basil or two plants on top of this really, really soon, just to add the basil companion plant to the tomato plant. But um, I think we're good, except I do not want this swaying all over the place. So we're gonna move the bucket back up here. I only had this on here to show you all what I was doing. We're gonna secure this to the pole to try to keep it from swaying and to give the tomato a trellis downwards for it to follow so it's not swaying all over the place and getting injured in the wind. At least that's the plan for right now. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, or what I've decided to do, because I'm always changing everything I'm thinking as I'm doing it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna screw in a screw down at the base of this four x four, and then tie that string to that screw, which will secure that straight up and down, and should keep it, keep the pot and the tomato plant from swaying so much, so let's we'll see. Last thing I need to do is just water it in. I'm not gonna water it too much tonight. Uh, definitely wanna get it watered in though and let those roots start finding where they wanna go. So I'm really excited about that. I think that'll be a cool thing to try. Hopefully it'll work. But as always, I will show you all everything. If this is an epic failure, I'll show it and I'll keep everyone updated on the progress of this tomato plant for sure. As always, everyone, if you all enjoyed this video, do me a favor, share it, like it, and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. As always, everyone, take care. God bless. We'll talk to you again real soon.